in today's video I'm going to be showing you the 25 caliber AVS slug that I uh, am making. Uh, it, I've done a lot of research, I've spent the entire summer trying to come up with a slug that will work well in the cricket and the crawl puncher jumbo and I believe I have found something. So I've tried all different diameters, all different styles, shapes, different bases and I'll tell you it took a long time but I finally found something and the slug I found is in 254 diameter. It is also just like my 22 caliber AVS slug. It's a cup base and uh, hollow point. Same 2S ogive nose so it has a very similar uh, shape but it works well in the Cricut extremely well and in the crawl puncher jumbo probably the best that I've seen of any slug. Remember this is not a slug barrel. This is a 1 in 17, 1 in 18 twist barrel uh, that wasn't designed for slugs. So I'm trying to find something to fit, a slug to fit these guns. Um, it definitely fits the Cricut extremely well and the reason I picked 254 as an outer diameter was because I found that the Walther Walther barrels, which some of them do like slugs, uh, have a land diameter, excuse me, a groove diameter of 254. So that means the maximum depth is 254 and I figured okay that's enough for the uh, lands to press in on the bullet and give it good, you know, good catch, even though it's only a one in 18 twist. And this gun here, the Cricket, has a CZ barrel. I, they used to have Lothar Walther. I was believing that this had a Lothar Walther. I, I believe it is not, but it still works well in the CZ barrel. So these slugs should work well in CZ barrels and Lothar Walther barrels. They are working pretty good compared to 250 or any flat base slug. Uh, the bottom line is, I have a slug that now works well in my Cricket very darn well in my uh, uh, crawl puncher jumbo. The crawl puncher jumbo is in 61 foot pounds of energy. I did up the power. It is regulated and I do have a carbon fiber bottle on it. The Cricut has a Yuma regulator in it because the original Cricut, I don't know, caliber gun Cricut regulator was just absolutely terrible. Uh, and this gun is at 67 foot pounds of energy. And you're gonna have to give it a little more, if you wanna shoot these slugs because they are a little fatter than 250, they're going to run just a slight bit slower, but they grab that rifling better and they stabilize really nice out to 100 yards. Uh, I have done 175 uh, inches at 10 shot groups with the Cricket. I did a 1.77 inch 9 shot group with the Crawl Puncher Jumbo at 100 yards with the AVS, with these 25 cal AVS slugs. And please remember these are 254. Uh, they are a little bit bigger and so they will run a little tiny, tiny bit slower, uh, but the bottom line is they work really well. Hey all, welcome once again. I am trying to test some more of my uh, AVS slugs. These are 34 grain, 25 caliber slugs. I also have 36 grain, uh, 32, 30, 28, I, by twos. I'm doing it by twos to try to see if I can get this caliber gun cricket that's right here. Now, this is not gonna be a review on the caliber gun cricket. The purpose for this video is really to test out my slugs and see if I can find something that works in this gun and my crawl puncher breaker. Now, initially, my crawl puncher breaker didn't have enough power, at least I thought, to shoot these slugs. These slugs are 254 in diameter. So they're 25 caliber, but they're uh, four thousandths of an inch bigger than a 250. And the reason I did that is because the 250s just were not working in either of these barrels or any gun I tried. I mean, they would group at like three or four or five inches at 100 yards, but that to me is just unacceptable. Uh, I have gotten these slugs in, in prior tests to work out of the Cricket with only 55 foot-pounds of energy to about 1.7 inches. Now, I did not, well, I have that on film, but it wasn't worth putting up. So today, I'm, I've upped the power to 63 foot-pounds of energy, and I did that by, without getting into a lot of detail, I just basically put a lighter valve spring, I dremeled out the transfer port uh, in the tube, I put a slightly uh, harder hammer spring, and I put a Yuma regulator in here. One of the problems with these crickets, man, their regulators, at least this one is about two and a half years old, uh, it looks like a really good regulator. I actually have it with me, but 
it does not function well. It usually takes a few shots to get up to par, and then once it gets to its working level, it kind of, if you don't use it for three or four minutes, it drops back down. So anyway, I put a Yuma regulator in here. It is working absolutely fine. I'm hoping that today I can show you that these 254 slugs, these are again, hollow point cup based, 254 in diameter, are working well, but you may need more power because they grab the rifling. They're a little bigger and they grab the right. Remember, the twist rates in these air guns are something like one in 18 to one in 22, 23, something like that. So it might be only be one full twist for a 23 inch barrel, which I'm not sure if that's enough, but that's what I'm here to find out today and hopefully bring to you guys. And again, I've been, you know, killing myself trying. I've tried all summer uh, to get these to work and hopefully today's the day. To This is under an inch with these two flyers uh, right here. So this is, yeah, that's an inch or less. So I feel pretty good about at least the Cricket working at 50 yards with 34 grain slugs. Okay, 10 shots, bottom right, 36 grain. Perfect, exactly where I thought it would go. Oh, shit. Okay, one flew on me. All right. Okay, that's exactly what happened because I went a little lower and it went right in the middle. I think that proves that the uh, both the 34 and the 36 grain are fine at 50 yards. Now the true test is at 100 yards. Let's take them further out. Okay, okay, okay. So this, <laughs> I think this is a the 36 grain. I think the 36 grain did better. Look at that, tighter group than the 34 grain. And when I had this low one here, if you notice the shot was like 815 or 8, 835, and then it went up to almost 8. Uh, 65 so that's the little rise it was the pressure uh, so that tells me that we are good with 36 and 34 grains at 50 yards let's take this out to 100 okay guys we're going to 100 yards now I have another six or seven targets set up and uh, let's see how we do This is 100 yards. We're going to do the 34 and 36 green. Here we go. Good. Here we go. Eight hundred ninety, eight hundred ninety-four with a 36 green. Okay, that's a good shot. 890 feet per second. Per second, I'll tell you the Yuma regulator is spot on. Ah. I, I think I'm not, my hold was off. So the shots were pretty consistent. Look like from 890 to 897, extreme spread of seven. The Yuma regulator did unbelievably well. And that group looks like about 1.5, maybe 1.7. Go. 917 feet with a 34 grain. Two in the same hole. Three in the same hole. Four in the same hole. A little high. The regulator is very, very consistent. 
916, 917. Wow. Uh, the first shot, I have no explanation as to why that one could be me. I was tilting the gun, I'm not sure. Let me go, let's go out and take a look. This is October 2nd, 87 degrees. It's crazy. Still recording, yes you are. Oh, holy crap. I thought this was a bad group, except for this one here. I think four or five went in here. One, two, three, four, five. Five went, wow. I thought this was a, didn't take away this, I don't know. I don't know what I did. So you have this one here, can't explain it. But you see with the 36 grain, take this one away, this little one here. This here, one and a quarter inch. I'll verify that at home. But you know what? We'll continue. Again, this is my test board, right? Here's my test target. And I'm going to continue on with these three. Uh, wow, the targets are hot. It's, uh, it's 87 degrees right now, October 2nd. I know I keep repeating it. I, I just can't believe I'm getting burned on October 2nd. Uh, let's keep going. All right, let's keep shooting. Okay, here we go. 36 grain, bottom left. Beautiful. Wow. Wow, okay. Let's go take a look at that. In the hot sun. Yeah, good, you're recording, okay. All right, so. All right. This is the 36, so 34, 36, I think, yeah, 36, and this is 36. I think this is pretty definitive as far as the uh, cricket goes. The cricket likes the 34 and 36 grain uh, slugs. I'm going to call that good. Still high. Wow. Oh, I pulled it completely. That was my fault. That's funny. Okay. All right, that was a really good tension, except for that one. Uh, that's my fault. Okay, so that's a good group at 50 yards. Uh, that one, I totally pulled it. Okay. All right, all right. That's good. Here we go. Still recording, good. Okay, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this one I pulled, and we have seven, seven, seven in three quarters of an inch. Today is day two of testing for the AVS slugs. Uh, these are in 25 cal, these are hollow point with a cup base. Uh, I have them in four different sizes, that's 30, 32, 34, and 36 grains. They all were successful out of the Cricut, but the 36 and 34 were the best out of the Cricut. Now at this point today, we're gonna be trying it in the Crawl Puncher Jumbo. Uh, I have had mixed success with it so far. So what I did was I polished the barrel and and uh, uh, recrowned the barrel tip, uh, the crown. So uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, I did notice when I took a look inside with a camera, uh, the barrel uh, lands and grooves were very rough. So I am hoping that that was the reason that these slugs were not performing because the twist rate is very similar to the Cricut. It's a one in 17, one in 18, uh, somewhere between in that range. And again, I measured that, I, I tried looking online and I found all different numbers. So basically I passed a, uh, a cleaning rod with a tough edge on it and you know, count, put a piece of tape and counted the turn. Uh, it was about 17 inches, it made a complete revolution. 
Anyway, all that being said, this gun is shooting 60 foot-pounds, and to take out any other factors, today is a great day, there's no wind, I wanna get shooting right away. Sorry, that's why I'm speaking so fast. I've also uh, modified the stock here to give myself a, a thumb rest. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be redoing the stock. I know the, st the stock is not hurt. I have a raised pad here. I did buy another one of those uh, uh, riser, adjustable risers. I'll be putting it on this stock. But for now, I wanna get shooting before the wind kicks up. And uh, hopefully we have some good answers, uh, or at least we get some good uh, results on the AVS slugs in 25 cal. Let's get to it. Upper left, 36 grain. Here we go. A51. A51. Four shots, all the same velocity. Wow. All right. 850. Wow. 852. Wow. 850. Okay. Wow, all right. Whew. Okay, <laughs> so that's a 10 shot group. I believe that's around an inch, 50 yards. Every shot was between 850 and 853. Uh, the regulator, this is the Alteros regulator. I have also purchased the Yuma regulator. Uh, let, me, let me go up front here. Okay, so at this point, uh, the, 30, the 34 grains, I don't know why they were all over the place. The 36 grains at 50 yards, it looks like about an inch. I'm gonna go out there, take a quick look. Uh, oh, of course, we'll review everything back home, but the 36 grains look good. Okay, so we are looking at a one inch 10 shot group here. This was siding in. These were the 34 grains. The 34 grains look like about an inch and three quarter, no, an inch and a half. Uh, not acceptable in my, my book for 50 yards, but this 36 grain at 50 yards, very, very promising. I'm starting with the 36 grain AVS slugs at 100 yards. Let's see what we can do. Nice. 835. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm a little surprised. Uh, let me get into the light here. Okay, so the first group I just shot out at 100 yards, I didn't even sight my gun in. I'd taken my scope off and it's just amazing. Anyway, it looks like about a one and three quarter inch group at 100 yards with my AVS slugs. I'm gonna take a quick run down range. Okay, so we have, uh, this is a two inch group right here, nine shots. Uh, Another 10 shot group with a 36 grain. Okay, here we go. Bullseye. Wow. 871 feet per second. Nice. Wow. All right. Hold that one. 
All right. So that is a typical group using the 25 cal 254 uh, 36 grain slugs out of the cricket. Uh, that looks like about an inch and a half, two inches, nah, maybe an inch and a half group. You know, you could see that they're pretty much landing in the same spot. All right. All right. Not bad. Very good. Good. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. One more. Let's send one more. All right. Very nice. <clears throat> okay, so that is a typical group for the Crawl Punch and Jumbo. Uh, I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Uh, that's using the 36 grain. I'm gonna go down range and take a look. Uh, I think it's pretty nice. Some groups, like I said, two inches, uh, two and a half, and other times I have uh, an inch and three quarters. I think my best group ever was like 1.7. Uh, with these 25 cals in the crawl puncher jumbo. Now remember the jumbo is not a uh, slug barrel, but um, these these 254 you know, slugs, ABS slugs, they're working pretty well. I mean, let's check out this group here. All right, let's see, good, we can see each other. All right, so this is a pretty typical group of the Crawl Puncher Jumbo at 100 yards. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Except for this last shot that I kind of got thrown off on. Uh, these nine are about 1.7, 1.6, somewhere in that range. Uh, again, uh, I think I found a slug that works well in both the Crawl Puncher Jumbo and the Caliber Gun Cricket. Uh, it took a lot of months of, of testing, but uh, I'm pretty happy about it, and I'm pretty exhausted. This was just, again, I'm not going to shoot more groups. This was just another day uh, to confirm what I already knew from about two months of testing, maybe three months of testing. And uh, I, I, again, I don't think I need to test it anymore. Uh, Things are working out very well with these slugs. Crawl Puncher Jumbo and Caliber Gun Cricket. Here we go, 36 green. All right, 850 feet per second. All right, so I brought the block over here. This is the wound cavity. Whew. Look at that. So hopefully you're seeing that there. Wow, it's over here somewhere. So I have a piece of fishing wire here. I'm going to see if I can slice down the middle. I think it's over here. Oh, yeah, by the way, whoever mentioned that, that's a great way to cut clay. Here it is. And there's the, here's the slug. Wow, all right. Whoops, okay. All right, look at that mushroom. Whew. All right, I don't know if you're seeing that. Let's see. There is the slug and how it mushroomed. Just in case, let's see. There you go. Let's see, seeing that? I would say that's the size of a baseball, a little bigger than a baseball. Major League Baseball, hardball. 
Uh, it went in about, I'm gonna say about seven inches, maybe eight tops. And I think you're seeing that right there. And that's a pretty, it ended up right about here. So, uh, yeah, it's about, about eight inches or so. Pretty nice cavity. I'm very pleased with how uh, these slugs dump their energy into uh, at least this clay here or their prey, whatever you're shooting at. Um, they stop nice, they mushroom nicely. Uh, it was a little crooked, but still very good. Very good. Okay, 38 grain. Okay. 729 downrange, 833, 729. Okay, 838. I think it's going very high. 36 green. Hitting. 7 for 882 7 for 889 7 and 750 something okay let's do the 34 green 32 here's 34 green Let's load five of those. Okay, 907 here. Okay, 906, gotta shoot a little lower. Okay, that one came in, one more. Again, these are 34 greens. Okay, I think those came in. All right. Okay, 32 grain. Here we go. Okay. 9-11. 7. 9-13. 9 okay, 7 something. 764. 743. All right, those are 32s. Let's keep going. Three more 32s. Good. Duplicate. 723. Good. 723. I All right, I think we're good. That was the 32s. Okay, 953. 954. Good, it looks like it's a reading. Almost 800 down range. 797. Recording, here we go. This is a 36 green at 100 yards. Low. Three. Four. Wow. Okay. So uh, I believe four went in one hole, two went in another hole, and it's all a matter of getting comfortable with this gun. One, two, three, four, five, six, four went in, four went in here. Four in one hole, that's pretty, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. 
this is a waste of time. Okay. Okay, it's a little high. Ha! You saw that in the camera, I read that wind. Okay, breeze is dying down. Ha! Oh. Yep, I'm reading that breeze. Ha! Yep. Yep, okay, so as was evident by this last group, I mean, they said there's only gonna be seven to eight mile an hour winds. But you can see how those seven to eight mile an hour winds are moving those pellets, especially it's a headwind. So I have it behind me or in front of me. That, I don't know why it seems to be more in front of me. Uh, so I was making that adjustment and you can see how I was right on with every shot, or pretty close. Uh, so I'm gonna go take a look down range. Okay, now that, now that is some shooting. All right, let's see. Let's go this way. All right, All right good. Okay, so look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, they said that the wind was tough today. Uh, but I didn't know it was going to be, it said seven to eight mile an hour winds, but apparently at a hundred yards out here, I think cause I'm just over a ridge up here, the air, I don't know, and it's coming right at me. So I'm imagining that the air is scooping down. Uh, so look at that here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty tight. The, the, the wind died down. Then the wind kicked up again. Uh, Again, I, was, I, I attempted to do three here, and I said, you know what, the wind is, I'm just not going to waste it. Look at this. That, that is a, just a little more than an inch with two. Now, remember, this one, I was compensating for the wind. So, it goes to show, I thought there was something wrong with the barrel in the crawl, or, or maybe, you know, the slugs, I, I don't put a doubt on them because... I look at them in each individual, and they're all the same weight within a tenth of a grain, if that much. So I know the slugs are not the problem. I didn't, wasn't sure if the barrel was a problem because I, I have done 1.7 inch group, 10 shot groups. This is a pretty tight 1.2, maybe 1.1, 1.2 inch group here. So uh, I'm pretty pleased that with the crawl and, and these uh, 36 grain, AVS slugs out to 100 yards. Shot number two. Wow. Wow.
All right. Wow. That one. Wow. Yeah, so <laughs> that's pretty typical for the Cricut with the 36 grain. Uh, it, it's a laser beam. <laughs> I did, I just did three groups with the Cricut today. Uh, I um, wasn't even trying. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 10, about an inch and a half. About an inch and a half with this one flyer. Uh, again, every once in a while I get excited and I seem to do that every time. But look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it was 12 shots. Look how many piled up together. You know, once I get in a groove and I start, there was no wind really. I don't think there was, wind was an issue. I don't think wind did this. Uh, it's kind of dead right now. Sun's starting to come out. But again, just another uh, nail in the coffin that, you know, the 36 grain slugs, the AVS slugs, um, even the 34 and the 38 are very good out of the Cricut. Uh, 32s, a little bit wider. I think a little, they open up a little more. Uh, and the 30s do as well. 30 and 32s are uh, not exactly as precise as the 36. I'm not sure if it's the length of the slug uh, coming out of a 25 grain, uh, 25 caliber barrel, but here's the results for the 36 grain.